The authentication tab is a very powerful feature that can either be applied to the send data triggers or to the receive data actions. In both ways, it can be used in a different way. If you apply the authentication feature to the send data triggers, you will be able to authenticate to external webhooks and APIs. If, for example, an external service provider requires you to authenticate with a bureau token or an API key or basic authentication, you can use the authentication templates to connect the triggers directly with the external service without using a middleman. This will shorten the circle and makes it easy for you to connect to external services that require an authentication. It is also possible to apply the authentication templates to the received data actions. This will cause the received data actions to require the specified authentication method. If you apply, for example, the basic authentication to a received data action, you would need to set up the basic authentication from the external endpoint as well, giving you an extra layer of security, which allows you to send over the data only with an authenticated request. As in both ways, it's set up the same way. I will demonstrate you the functionality, creating a template. To do that, we simply head over to the Create Template button, and we fill in a template name and the authentication type that we would like to use. In our example, I call it demo template and we will use as an auth type the API key. Once I click create template, it will create the template and you can see it here within the list. Similar to the data mapping setup, the name contains the name that you just set up the template with. The auth type contains the authentication type that you're currently set up. This is the time when you created the template and here you will see all of the connected triggers and actions in case you connected it. As it's currently empty, we do not have it connected to anything. To connect it to an actual URL, you can either head over to the send data or receive data tab and connect it accordingly. I will demonstrate that quickly using the receive data tab. Once we head over, you will see the webhook URL. And when you go to the right to the actions, you will see a settings item, which opens a pop-up where you now can select the authentication template that you would like to use within this specific webhook URL. Once I select it from here, this authentication template will be applied to that specific webhook. Once that's done, we click save settings and head back to our authentication template. As we now have it successfully connected to our URL, we can edit the template itself. To do that, we head over to the actions and we click settings. Within this pop-up, you will now see certain possibilities that you can set up specifically for the API key. As for the key, you can set up the key that you would like to use for sending it over within the request. As the value, you usually use the API key. As your external provider might require this value within the header, you can use it either in the header, in the body, or in both. Once everything is up, you click Save Template and you're ready to go. If you now chose certain values for your authentication, and you will send data to the received data URL, you will only be able to send the data through successfully if you also set the authentication based on the template that you used before. As in our case, it was the API key, you also need to specify the API key respectively within either the header or the footer or in both. Depending on the other methods available, you will have certain values that you can fill out to use that to either protect your site or to make external API endpoints compatible with our plugin.